Don't put the fucking camera in my fucking. Oh my Are you fucking putting it on? Why are you yes, putting it on this side? Yes, it's face? on you because I like that side. So, dude, what's happening today? We're gonna head over to Island right now, and then I have no idea what we're gonna do after Denny's. So, out of our entire friend group that trains right, there's still one person and one person only that still goes to Island. The last of the breed. Chris, tell tell them tell that promotion that they have today. Every Friday, they let you bring a free guest, and I'm gonna bring. These two geniuses. Yay! But there's a small issue, right? The thing is, I'm kicked out of that gym. Like I'm probably kicked out. Quinn's kicked out, but he's not training right now. Like he's he's off today. Dylan's never been probably kicked out, so Dylan's not gonna have any issues. Hopefully, I'm not gonna have any issues either. So I woke up at around like 6 p.m. today for the last two days. I got like kind of sick, so I couldn't really eat anything. My sleep, everything was out of whack. I pretty much let go of myself completely, and right now I have the motivation to get back on track. So what I'm gonna do is right now, me and Dylan, we haven't sumo deadlifted in like a solid one to two minutes. It's been a while since we've seen with deadlift it, right? And it's been a while since we actually used a Texas deadlift bar. So we're gonna go to Ireland, but there is a Texas deadlift bar. Oh, we're just gonna take a bunch of pre-workout and just all out test our sumo deadlift max. I'm completely flat, but the Texas deadlift bar helps a lot. And I just haven't used it in a while. It's kind of something fun to do. Take a lot of pre-workout, keep me up through the night so I can reset my sleep schedule and deal. You excited? I'm fuck. I'm excited, but I'm not taking. I'm not taking too much though. Dylan, I'm word on the street is you're taking a scoop of God of Rage. That's what YouTube heard. I've never taken a full scoop of God of Rage, but if I took a full scoop of God of Rage. It would be like that would just be like the best experience to capture on camera because I would pull a world record first of all, and then after that I'd probably just like I would literally drop dead and die. Wait, Chris, what are you hitting today? I mean, I got a nice D-Lo, little pretty boy fun workout. You know? Pretty boy fun. D-Lo's are not pretty boy workouts. There's some oh, light and boring so good. Dude, I can check the full scoop of it. It doesn't even taste bad at all. Like, no, it's just, it doesn't taste bad it has at all. The, it's weird. It has like 4,000 like harsh ingredients in there, but Wait, there's dude. no like, there's no harsh taste. It's mild. Did you tell him we're having like a little, oh, like a little, little one rep mag. Like, just see, see what's going on. I did. I just told him. But did you tell him I was flat too, or you just told him you were flat? All right, guys. Oh. I'm, oh. I, have, oh. I haven't, oh. eat, I haven't oh. eaten or slept in the past three months. I'm... Hardly staying up right now, right? Dylan, he's been, he weighs 220. Ah! If I touch his chest, glycogen falls out of his nipple. He's I'm full as they get. I'm 77 right now. I fucking, I literally ate barely anything today. And I'm, I'm probably gonna take less pre workout than you two. So, pretty much, it'll be a fun little contest because we're both flat. We both haven't seen my deadlift in a while. And when I woke up, right, there was a package sitting right here on this couch, a little gym shark package for me. I opened up like half the stuff, right? And there's some exciting shit. Throwback shit? So this package pretty much just has like a lot of new items. I'm pretty sure it's called like the Legacy Series, for example. Like, if you're an OG, you remember this Gymshark logo. This is a nostalgic as fuck logo, right? And now it's like on a proper t-shirt. Like, the fits very, very well. I like that. And they also have pretty much tanks. Like, I'm pretty sure this is a string because it's cut a lot more. But there's also like the string is like this and more tanks. Same thing, same logo. Comes in this blue color. Gray, white, and black. There might be more, but I don't really, I'm not sure if I have those yet. Then we have this long sleeve, just like normal shirt, with the Gymshark logo in the front, little Gymshark on the back, long sleeve, nice good material. Oh, and one thing I quickly want to say about the actual strings and stuff. Dave, slow Gymshark. it down a notch. I mean, slow it down a notch. Right, <laughs> Take it down a notch. Everyone, calm down. You're going to get calm. Calm down. All right. Excited about the now go series. in for this one. Go in for this one. So. Gymshark had strings like this in the past, but they were more cotton. This is just a much more kind of like a stretchier material. It's kind of like a hybrid. Like it seems to be more durable. It's like slightly different, but it's pretty much the same stuff as Gymshark had before, except for maybe, I don't know, these, um, the strings or whatever. The, the strings like was slightly thicker, but this is good stuff. And I have all this stuff that I didn't open, but it's pretty much the same shit, just in different colors. Is that a medium right there? No, they're all large. Look no, they're large. Like, that's an old school tee. So, so what we got. That's we got a scoop salt. of a salt, a scoop of a salt, and I'm taking these two red pills together, 50 milligrams of 1 3 dot meth. This is, for like the time being right now, this is a well above average pre workout. Like, I normally would not take something like this for just an average, uh, an average training session, but I'm attempting a scary motherfucker deadlift tonight, so that's what I'm gonna do. Dill, what are you taking? I'm taking one and a half little scoops of ESP. One and a half scoops. Mm -hmm. For me, that's a three scoops of the strongest pre workout you can find. Yeah. AKA meth. Well, he's got a, uh, he's got that little tolerance. All right, all three of us are mega psyched up right now, even though we haven't taken anything yet at all. So I guess I'm gonna be the first. 50 milligrams, one three dime met. Shit, it's nostalgic. Oh, oh shit! Mm, I feel it. I haven't sipped anything like this in a while. Just it's giving me that fucking <laughs> jittery feeling. You know I mean? Here's the cool, here's the cool thing though, right? You remember when I hit my <laughs> six five sumo? 
for those of you that know, that was so out of the blue. Like, that's when I came back from the Jim Sharp New York tour. I was like, having stuff having I mean, I lost like 10 pounds. I felt like absolute shit. But I came in and I hit like a fucking huge PR. It didn't make any sense. I so. was literally so upset about that because me and Dave, like, I was always, I deadlifted more than Dave. I was happy, but low key, like, really? Fuck, like, you weighed like, but the thing is, I couldn't even be like, yeah, you weighed 200, you weighed like 150. Yeah. Fuck, like, like, <laughs> no, nah, really, I was like 183 yeah. or whatever. But the point is, like, we're both in unideal conditions, but that's not like bringing us down because with that text deadlift for, that shit's a wild card. You don't know what the yeah. fuck's gonna happen. And the other no day, idea. even at this weight, I hit, I hit 585, kind of clean, so. Yeah. Uh -huh. And pre-workout, like a high dose for deadlift. That does some magical things to your CNN. It's literally not a problem. I just you feel can really change uncomfortable your... changing my hoodie because they're going to think that it's like another day and we lied. So I feel really uncomfortable. Yeah, like you... I'm not going to change it. I wanted to put, I have a Gymshark one in the car, but I don't know. Dave, you want a cold catering? Yeah, absolutely. Let me see it. Shit. No, I don't know if I want to wear what hoodie because I have a bunch in here. Dude, just put on something. Are you driving your car there? Should I? I don't care. It's literally four inches away from our house. I got, a, I got a my protein, the gym shower, fucking. Dylan shit won't here. dump the pre workout because he can't afford gym to lose shower? this deadlift off tonight. He won't do it. His ego will not. Dude, Dave, Dave. What? Get me, get me speeding off real fast. Full speed. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So let's see. This Alexis gonna accelerate as fast as he says. Yeah, guys, he's flooring it right now. <laughs> Come on, you got it! What's this, what's this Chris? You let people take naps here or something? Oh, no, 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 it's for the pizzas, man. I'm a pizza delivery boy. Oh, fuck. I'm doing the same thing Ben was doing, right? He was a pizza <laughs> delivery boy. That's how you start. That's how key, I, that's key how to I, success, guys. You have to deliver pizzas at one point in your life. Ask that? Ben Francis. That's a secret. That's why I started doing it, right? All right, guys, I just want to show you, just for, I don't know if you can see right now, there's no light at all in the car, but I just want to show you for reference how close this gym is to our house. <laughs> just to show, like, how inconvenient it is that we got kicked out, right? So we literally just pulled out, we left, and I'm going to continue to talk and find things to talk about while we're going there. So we just pulled up to the stop sign. Chris is right here. He's ready. He's making the turn. We're now going forward. We're driving. We're having a good time. I'm thinking about how do my hips feel because I haven't really stretched them out in a while. My pre-workout tastes great. Oh shit, I see Chris is about to turn his blinker on. We're about to make the turn. The turn's made right now. It's not made right now. It'll be made in a few seconds. So right now he's actually making the turn. He's driving forward and holy shit. There you go, right there. We have Who's Island Gym. Office? We're here. Oh shit. Oh guys, I'm getting a little anxiety right now. Like, hope I can actually get in the gym. I hope I don't get kicked out because that would ruin tonight's plans and I have to go to Tilton in a nostalgic place. It's still new. James! What is this? Holy shit! What the fuck? Is this like bulletproof, like a nuclear bunker? Like, what is this? Guys, these are some scary fat burners. Like, you don't want to fuck with these. Hey, James, we'll see you after if you're still here. That's so scary. This is so weird. I have Has it been like six months since I've been Dude, here? remember we used to walk in here? Dude, we used to walk in remember here. Remember my first video with filmed me walking up there? You filmed it. Fuck. Remember? All right, guys, just to be safe, I'm going to put my camera completely away in my bag, inconspicuous, walk in, hood down. So if we do get in, the next clip will be in the actual gym. All right, guys, we are in with the insanely skilled and talented negotiating of Christian Dancer. We're in the gym. Chris, how do you feel about that? I mean, I've been called the Scott Boris in my day. No big deal. <laughs> no biggie. No biggie at all. Yo, I literally, I gained seven pounds of muscle tissue when I put this on right here. Did I or did I not? Yeah, you did. You guys remember this machine, the good old, uh... Hip abductor slash dude, abductor spent stretcher. Half your life on this I did, Literally dude. Half your life. So yeah, guys, I kind of mess around with the um, with the bar right now. I kind of like get my, got myself in position. I noticed my hips are tight, like pretty tight. And the reason for that is I haven't really stretched them because you know I haven't really been doing too much. But I'm gonna do a little warm ups on here, so hopefully that's gonna help my situation. So when the machine's taken, you gotta uh, lay on the ground, stretch out manually the Amish way, the old school way, BC before curls. Oh. God, this is so old school. Wait, dude, my hip abductors are weaker. I can feel it. All right, guys, you see this thing right here, this long, long magic wand? What I like to refer to this as is the Texas Delafour. This bar is literally, just look how long it is. Look at that fucking distance. That's insane. Indeed.
like a fantasy except that Reality We made it. We Full workout it. done. We snuck in. We got in. God, that feels yes, great. That's work. That was like it felt like like I didn't even think about it. it just like felt like it's kind of like euphoria. Yeah, it just felt natural to train there. But holy, like, we got a before we go, we got to tell what happened with the uh, with the deadlifts, right? So we were warming up. Like I felt kind of good. I pulled 500. It felt it felt alright, but something felt off, and I thought yeah, it was. I thought it was because I was using straps, and that definitely threw me off because I never used straps. And so then I took them off from my 585, and I pulled it, and it was just so, so, so fucking heavy. Like, it was unbelievable. Like, I just had no CNS because I haven't, like, done the sumo delts in a while. Just all bruised strength, just, like, pulling it up, and, like, it just snapped my back so hard. But I'm fine. Dylan completely ripped 585 off the ground, tore it up, but then he put on... 640 and he failed but he could have easily got him it was just a form issue like his knees were like collapsing in his hip adductors that he wasn't he didn't have a good setup off oh, just oh. god damn and i weren't saying i'll see oh, yeah so it was just a form issue he was he used too much quad drive off the ground and that's easier for lighter weights because you like you'll explode them out faster but it gets more difficult to lock out once you move up in weight and that was pretty much his thing he failed it once due to form issue. Then when he went again, tried it with better form, hips more open, but he failed because his CNS was shot and he hasn't done sumo in a while. He runs a marathon when he's jumping. <laughs> this is what Gabe's like, all right, guys, like, <laughs> like okay, right now. We're gonna... <laughs> he shot a best extra calories every year. When I'm on pre-workout, I can literally pace around. What's up, guys? <laughs> yeah, oh, wait, Dave, we got to go back to James. Yeah. Uh, you know. ding, ding. James. Shit was a tie, James. Mm -hmm. Shit was a tie. So, Dylan over here, right, we've arm wrestled many times, but he's never arm wrestled me 
on pre-workout. And pre-workout, I gotta tell you right now, it does give you a good, it gives you a real good advantage. So, if he wants to do a match, we're gonna film it, we're gonna see how it it's goes. It's all friendly. It's a friendly match. It's a friendly match. A nice, good old friendly match. If I match. lose, we're going 87.35 times though. <sighs> you know what's weird, Dave? Every time I always see you sitting like on this side with your arm wrestling. Really. Pick whatever side you right want. Here. What do you mean? I arm wrestle on this side. No, I only do it with John Ma. Oh, uh, Kenny? With Quinn and Kenny, I've, I've well, did it on that side. Huh. Well, let's, uh. Alright, well, I mean, if I'm choosing my side. Yo, Cr mm. you know, Which side do you want? This side? Are we going lefty then? We have to go left. We'll go both, but I'll do lefts first. <laughs> Alright. I'm scared, dude. It's pre workout strength. Joe, we should have someone say, ready, set, go. Something right here. Alright. Say it ready, set, go. You say it first. I say it? Just hit it first. Ready, set, go. Yeah, when you say it, it's so hard, but that, that I felt really strong. You but hold we have to get someone to say it. I think I just you, tore my You say it. Alright, I'll say it, but. Right? right arm. Yeah, I just tore both my obliques real quick. So I just thought, all right, hold on. Yeah, I, did, I felt so much stronger. Dude, there was two people that arm wrestled me at the LA Fit Expo. One was a fucking, he's a big yeah. guy. Did he beat him? No, but it required me like a shit. I actually haven't filmed my friend, I think, but it took me a lot of effort. Oh, I don't like my right arm. You say ready, set, go. Ready, set, go. Oh fuck! I had it. And I oh, as soon as I like you pulled me over, I I want to try to go again, right? Fuck! I do feel like strong. Reigning king over here. Yeah. Right. Well, we tied the deadlifts today. Mm -hmm. if, if if they if, saw the footage. If any, hey, listen. If, that, if, if, if anything, if anything, I'll win because I got the no stress. If if anything, I went fifty times faster. I went, I almost got six forty right here. We'll call it. It's the straps. It's so weird. Like I just have to get in such a specific thing. I just, got, I, you, I just got because way, it has to do with like. Literally. I just got way too good at it. Hope this is filming. All right. You say ready, set, go. Ready, set, go. Oh, fuck. God damn it. I just got that grown man strength. I don't know what you're going to do. That's I'm finally idea. hitting people. I'm, I'm just chilling here taking my here, go time. go left. Go left. It's literally such a, like, a leverage disadvantage. It's, it's, you know I'm on 50 milligrams on one three, right? Yeah, but literally, like for me, like the leverage disadvantage is fucking... All right. Yeah. Say right, Ready, set, go. Yeah, I just literally. The leverage disadvantage, I just can't do a single thing. It's just broken. Soupy! There's no way that could have just broken. There must have been. No, Every been. time Kenny sat on it. So we got back from the gym probably like 45 minutes ago. We were gonna go straight to the Denny's, but we were so dehydrated and just like retar retardedly, retardedly sweater. So we all came home, we showered, and pretty much Dylan's rocking the old school, old school deviant uh, Dude, seamless. Do you remember when we got that first package? Yeah. When you got the first package and these came in there. Yeah. That's how, crazy. how not sold are those anymore by Jim Shark? It's not. But those are literally dope, extinct. Though. Chris, tell them where we're going, Chris. Tell them where Denny's. we're going. Denny's. Got the Mavic on the ground. My controller here in this pocket is a little battery. So nice. So like they're half the price as Phantom 4 batteries or Phantom batteries and half the size. So another one in my back pocket. And three, a two, a one. Alright, so we just got to the Denny's and the first thing I'm gonna say is my hair is completely fucked. Like 
this time of year with like the weather and the combination with it being too long, like it's just not looking good right now whatsoever. I'm gonna need to get a haircut ASAP, but we're at Denny's. I'm gonna get all you can eat pancakes, chocolate chip with some eggs over medium. I'm gonna split some nachos with Chris. He's gonna get a big shake and stuff. And Dylan's gonna get some crackers and uh, maybe a small glass of water because yeah. his appetite is motherfucked from this pre-workout. Me and Chris were just talking how when you're like pre-workout fades from that crazy like adrenaline phase, you just get this like just very calm, collected, and what Chris said, just a very mission-oriented vibe. Just like just super chill, relaxed, like focused, razor sharp, just like confident, just like just chill and laid back. So I'm just gonna as soon as I get my food, I'm just gonna start just just deleting because I'm just like a laser. Complete motherfucking laser. Gotta get it. What's up? <laughs> I don't care. I live life. Awesome. Guess what? Okay. That's my best friend. So I mean, if he's gonna make a vlog and Here? embarrass me, there you go. She said you're his best friend. Follow me. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>